Hello students and anyone else who may be watching from home, this is Mr. Borges and today we're going to talk about our two part, part 12, right? So we've got an assignment, a two page part 12. I want to make sure everybody knows from the beginning that there are two pages to part 12. So part 12, we're going to be learning about truth tables and logic gates. I'm going to go ahead and click on our part 12. It's going to take us to our part 12, page one of two assignment. This right here will be the video. I'll replace it with the video I'm recording right now. And then here is a link that was not going to be helpful. I'm going to use it in class. You can use it uh, if you like. So you have an assignment checklist for page one. And then down here, there is a next button to take you to page two. So in the assignment checklist, we're going to click the link down below for Cami. It looks like this. It's going to open in a new tab. You can see it's right here. I'm going to go ahead and click it. It's going to open this new page right here, where you're going to be able to do the same work that I'm doing. And then when you're done, you're going to click this submit button right here. I can't change this one though, or I'll change everybody's. So I've got my own right here. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to fill in the six truth tables. We're going to talk about logic gates. We're going to talk about truth tables. And then when you're done, you'll click that submit button that we already showed you. And then when you're done, you'll scroll to the bottom here and click next. So when you click that button, it, it opened you up into a new page, although you were in Cami, I'm not in Cami right now. And it brought us to this page right here, which is all about logic gate truth tables. We're gonna fill in these six tables and they're not difficult to fill in. And I do want you to understand what's going on with them. So there's six different gates. Right? These are pictures, they're representations, they're symbols that you might use on a schematic, on an electrical drawing, to represent simple, very, very, very simple little electrical machines, little electrical devices. They have some input, and then there's some output. And the output depends on whatever the input was. So whatever your input is decides what the output is. And these six different little gates, these logic gates, they have six different rules that they follow. And the rule is the rule that they follow is explained by this table. Now the tables are all blank right now, right? Except for all this FTFT stuff. I'm going to explain what that is in a moment here. But the way that this table tells you the rule is there's an input here, A, there's an input here, B, and there's an output here, right? So for computer logic, for computer logic, these inputs and outputs, they could only be, it's, it's all about ones and zeros. It's all just like computer stuff, right? So it's, it's and, and Boolean logic, that's all you have. You either have on or off, zero or one, true or false. And so in this case, right, we're using trues and falses to represent, is there a signal there or not? If there's a signal there, we're gonna call it true or it means the same as on. And if there's no signal there, we're gonna call it false, which means the same as off. So we're gonna talk about all these different inputs and all the possible things that can happen. We're gonna start just by looking at the not gate. So I've got a simple um, circuit representation of what that is over here in logic.ly, which is a free website you can check out yourself. I'm gonna get out a not gate. I'm gonna connect it up to the light bulb here. There's only one input on a NOT gate. I'm gonna get a switch, and there we go. So as you can see, I did not flip the switch yet, but the light bulb was already on. And that's because what a NOT gate does, it's an opposite machine. It's an inverter, it does the opposite. And so if this switch is off, then it makes the light on. If I turn the switch on, so now there's a signal, you can see the blue, there's a signal coming from the switch, this is doing the opposite. So even though the switch is on, now the light is off. And that's what not does, it's an opposite machine. So there's two different things that can happen. The switch could be on, the switch could be off. Those are the two different inputs, and there's two different outcomes, there's two different outputs. So I'm going to do, I'm gonna to try to do, is I'm gonna to try to go into, um, Split screen right now so that I can, uh, so that we can do these at the same time together. 
something like this. So our input here is A, and there is, it's either on or off. It's either true or false. Here we can see in our table, we're going to build a table of what can happen. The input A can be on, which is true, or it can be off, which is false. And those are really the only two things that we can do. There's only two inputs. So if A is true, then what's going to be not A? It's the opposite, right? Not true. Not true is going to be false. We're going to have to fill that in. And um, the same for over here. You can probably already guess then, right? So if the input is false, then the output's going to be not false. It's an opposite machine. It's going to be true. And that's the idea. It's the simple idea of how logic gates work and how we can build these tables to explain the rule that the gate follows. Now you can build these logic gates. We're going to build them out of Redstone and Minecraft. You can build them um, in the real world. These They put tons and tons of these together to get computers to do things. These are actually the most, the most simple and basic components of, um, of computing. Okay, so we have the not gate here. We're going to now talk about and gate. So I'm going to go ahead and toss my not gate here. We're going to get out an and gate. And gate has two inputs. So we're going to need two switches. I'm going to go ahead and connect. I should be able to move this switch. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and connect up another switch. Now there's two inputs. And they both have two options. So, so this one can be on or off, and this one can be on or off. So that's what's going on here. You see we have two inputs, A and B. And if since both of them can be on and both of them can be off, that creates these four different possible outcomes. They can both be off, false, false. They can both be on, true, true. Or they could be one on and one off, right? So A off and B on, or A on and B off. And those are the only four things that can happen here. All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go down the list of these four things and finish the rule for how AND works. And so AND, and the reason they want, well, you can probably guess, the reason why they call it AND is because the output is only going to turn on if A and B are both on. And that's the idea. So... You can see already that when this is off and this is off, the light switch is off. Let's fill that in. That's part of the rule. False. If there's no input here and there's no input here. There's no output here. False, false, and false. Then we can check and see. Turning this switch on doesn't do anything. Well, that's this case right here. Turning just one of them on didn't do anything. Still off. Let's turn it back off and try the other one. Again, did nothing. Right, so that's this case. Having only the other one on didn't do anything. So the last thing to check is about having them both on. And there we go. That's how AND works. So if this one AND this one are on, then the light switch is on. And you're going to fill in your truth table in Kami. So it looks like my truth table. For the AND gate. All right, and then we're going to talk about a couple more gates. Then I'm going to turn you loose. You're going to build some of these in Minecraft. All right. So thanks for your patience, folks. All right, we're going to do the next gate. So I'm going to get an OR gate here and connect it up. This one has two inputs also. And that this front part of the table looks the, very much the same. There's only two inputs, right? They're either both off, they're both on, or you have one off and one on, or the other way around. Those are the only four things that can happen with two inputs this way. So OR, as you can probably already guess, since we just did AND, the way OR is going to work is, the only way we're going to turn the light bulb on is if this switch OR this switch is on. While they're both off, the light's off. We can go ahead and fill that in. False, false is going to be false. Then if we have false and true, that turns the light bulb on. One or the other. So it's going to be true here. I'm going to turn this off and check the other one. This is also true. Having one or the other turns it on. And then if they're both on, but still one or the other. So true and true gives a true. 
A being true and B being true is an output of true. And that's the big idea. So we're going to now fill in the next. So I'm going to try, I'm trying to get so that I can show NAND is our next one. So I've got AND and NAND showing on the screen at the same time on purpose right now. NAND means not AND. So it means the opposite of AND. And you can actually build, if you don't have a NAND, you can build one by taking an AND gate and then just sticking a knot on here, sticking an opposite machine on the end. And that's how it works. That's the rule that it follows. It's just the opposite, everything the opposite of AND. So we can just look at AND and do everything the opposite over here. And we're going to get the rule, right? So false, false was false. Well, now it's going to be true for NAND. For NAND, right, this one was also false. Okay, it's also then... Let's go down the list here, making everything the opposite, opposite, opposite. This one was true. Now this one's false. That's the big idea. That's how NAND works. Now I just want to show you that real fast. And then we're going to do OR. And you can probably already guess how NOR is going to work. So we follow the rule. And you can see the rule here is going to be that for NAND, the only way we can turn this light off is if both the switches are on. And that's what we have right now. Both the switches are on and the light's off. If we have anything else, then I'll turn the light on. Or if even if they're both off. You can see that's following this rule, right? There's only one way to turn the light off. And that's having both of these be on. That's NAND. All right. We're also then going to talk about NOR. And nor is going to be the opposite of or. It's not or. You can build it with an or gate and a not gate on the end of it. And that's the exact rule that it follows, right? So it's going to be the opposite of this. Everything the opposite. Right? So this was false, false, false. This is going to be false, false, true. This one was false, true, true. This one's going to be false, true, false. The opposite, the output. All the outputs are going to be the opposite. Right, so this is also going to be opposite and opposite. And that's how NOR works. Right, and again, it's another rule where there's only one way to get something to turn on. Let's go ahead and get a NOR gate out. With a NOR gate, whoops, there's only one way to get the lights to turn on. And that's having both of the switches be off. So here, both the switches are on, the light's not on. Do this way, the light's still off. Flip the other switch, the light's still off. But if both of them are off, that's how we get the light bulb to turn on. And that's how, that's the rule that a NOR gate follows. So there we go. We've actually done most of the gates already. The last one is kind of a special one. It's like a combo. It's a little bit of a combo of other rules. As you can see, and if we just look at these, of our other rules, you can see there's only one way for not, there's only one way to turn it on. Here for or, there was only one way to turn it off. For and, there was only one way to turn the light on. Only one combo. For nan, there was only one combo to turn the light off. For nor, there was only one combo to turn the light on. Right? So, for XOR, exclusive or what it is it's kind of like an or gate except it's um, exclusive it means yeah either one or the other is enough to turn it on but both won't turn it on both is a problem both won't turn the light on so i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this i'm gonna talk about xor this is, which is what they call it in the biz all right, so it's different than all those other ones. So, and you can see the rule, right? If this is off and this is off, this is already off. Well, we're already learning how the rule is supposed to work. That's gonna be false. Then I can turn this one on to turn the light on. Okay, so that's a false, true, gave a true. I can try now true, false, true and false also gave a true. So right now it's looking almost exactly, I don't know if you remember, it's been a, a little while since we did it and it's off the screen. This rule right now is looking right now identical to the OR loop, the OR, or gate. They're not the same. 
right? So the difference is now if I turn both of them on, you'll see this light bulb is going to turn off. That's the exclusive part of the exclusive or, right? You're going to go out with um, one bestie or your other, but your your two besties don't get along with each other, so you can't go you can't go out and party with both of them. I don't know. Come up with your own story to help you remember what's going on with the exclusive or. There you go. And you can see it's unique among the gates we've talked about so far and that there's two ways that you can have the light on and there's two ways that you can have the light off. And so that is why that is why it's handy and why it has its uh, it has its own place and its own uses. All right. So once you have finished your own table, you can pause this video or you can go to the Logic LY website and try some of these circuits yourself to fill in the rest of your truth tables. When you're done, you have a button that's in Kami, the submit button. So you're going to click right up here somewhere. You're going to click that submit button. So click that submit button and then you'll yep, then you'll have finished page one. You're going to scroll down. So there's a next button down here that I'm pointing you to. You're going down here and click the next button. 